Our next contest, ladies and gentlemen, is sponsored by Ultra Fresh Shrimp Delight. Taking place inside of three two-minute rounds under kickboxing rules. Our first competitor making his way to the blue corner at this time, here is Brandon Ainsworth. Ainsworth's coming into this fight 0 and 1, 31 years old, at 155 pounds, 5'6", from Gloversville, New York, which is upstate, right outside Albany. His opponent approaching the red corner, here is Maven Lopes. Lopes is making his debut tonight, 21 years old, 155 pounds, 5'8", got two inches in height against Ainsworth from Staten Island. Following contest takes place under kickboxing rules inside of three two-minute rounds. It is sponsored by Ultra Fresh Shrimp Delight. Former world champion Tommy with the Warrior Rodriguez, the referee in charge of the action. Introducing first, competing out of the blue corner from Gloversville, New York, representing powerhouse boxing and MMA, standing five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Here is Brandon Ainsworth. His opponent competing out of the red corner from Staten Island, New York, and representing Staten Island Fight Club. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, weighing it at 151 pounds, Maven Lopes. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Maven Lopes versus Brandon Ainsworth. Ainsworth, Gloversville, upstate New York. Lopes from Staten Island, New York. Big right hand by Ainsworth. He's coming at him. Lopes is making his debut tonight. Ainsworth is trying to put a win in his win column. Right now he's 0-1 in his career. He's an amateur fighter. Both these guys staying away from big right hand by Ainsworth. Nice right kick by Lopes. Lopes is just trying to weather the storm right now as Ainsworth is coming in like a hurricane. Let's see how long Ainsworth can keep up this pressure. Looks like he's already slowed down a little bit. Lopes tries to throw a body kick. This fight is three rounds by two. Three rounds, two minutes apiece. Ainsworth is definitely having the better of Lopes in this round. He's just driving through him, throwing some heavy shots. You gotta be careful with that knee as the referee just warns him. Can't throw knees to the head. Oh, and he's just snapping back Lopes' head. 
Big shots right there. Staten Island fighters taking a lot of shots in this first round. Ainsworth, Ainsworth lands a few more. Both these fighters are getting at it. Lopes is just trying to weather the storm of Ainsworth. Ainsworth is just moving forward like a tank. Real stocky guy, 5'6", Lopes 5'8". You can even see the power coming off of Ainsworth a little bit in the end of this, oh, not too much, the end of this first round. One round in the books, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it, unofficial scorecard, my scorecard. Unofficial, obviously. Right now it's going to Ainsworth. Just the work that he put in that first round. Ainsworth's coach rubbing cold water on his body, keep any inflammation growing. And we have Lopes over here sitting, listening to his coach, trying to cover up and dodge. Sounds like the instructions he's receiving right now. And round number two is underway. Tommy Rodriguez is the referee in this fight. Being judged by Darryl Porter, Kenny Vasquez, and Luis DiMaia. Separation right there by Rodriguez. Whew, slips. Unfortunately with these shin pads, there's a lot of slippage. So the canvas isn't really canvas, it's like a plastic almost. As Lopes lands a few shots to the body of Ainsworth. Ainsworth lands one of his own. Via leg kick. And Ainsworth keeps moving forward. He's like a pit bull. Big body kick right there by Ainsworth. Lopes is just trying to avoid and uh, not take anything serious in the second round. Right now, I think this is up in the air. Lopes is doing a great job countering. As Ainsworth is moving forward. Lopes is trying to throw some uppercuts right there as the clinch is broken up by Rodriguez. Right now, Ainsworth is landing some big shots, snapping back to the head of Lopes. Just power shot after power shot by Ainsworth. We gotta get a little finesse in this gentleman's arsenal and he could be dangerous. But I think he only knew, knows to move forward one direction for him. I don't know if he's a fan of the band or not. As it looks like he's definitely a fan of Batman from the tattoos on his chest. As Lopes landed a nice couple shots. You can see Ainsworth fatiguing as the horn is about to go. 10 seconds left in the second round. There you have it, round number two. In the books. There's a wonderful ring card girls letting us know. Round number three coming up. You see the Staten Island Brazilian Jiu Jitsu MMA fighter getting instruction. Inspectors checking their footwear, making sure it's straight. That's what, if anyone watching earlier, Keith Peterson fixed the uh, chin pad of one of the fighters for their protection. As Ainsworth's 10 years older than Lopes, also has one fight under his belt. This fight is produced by Studio 15, best in the business. And here comes the final round of this fight. Here we go, round three underway. Oh, and Ainsworth opens up with a kick and a flurry. Pushes Lopes right against the cage. 
Wow, some big shots by Ainsworth. But you can see he's fatiguing, turns around, walks all the way back, referee separated them. Ainsworth trying to throw some knees to the body. Lopes is just trying to defend him. Oh, big right hand by Ainsworth. Lopes is trying to cover up and throw a knee of his own to the body of Ainsworth. And Ainsworth just keeps moving forward. Wow, and they're just getting at it right now. Separation by the referee, Tommy Rodriguez. And Ainsworth is just going to work. What a body of work he's put in in this fight. Referee separates the clinch again. Says fight and they meet in the middle. And Ainsworth, ooh, might have, thinks he took one to the nuts. But the referee says, nope, get to it. Check you boys later. The referee doesn't stop it. You can't just stop, there's no timeouts, kickboxing or MMA. As uh, Lopes' is asking for a knee to the body against Ainsworth. And Ainsworth continues pummeling on Lopes. He's gotta be careful of those knees. Separation, referee doesn't call it. Just says warns him. 10 second warning in the fight. Big knees right there. Wow, Ainsworth doing a lot of damage. He was able to uphold throughout three rounds. And that's the fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a performance by Ainsworth. Give it up for Lopes, too, as he fought through a lot of that storm. Hurricane Ainsworth. As we're going to wait for the official decision, but on the unofficial scorecard, my unofficial scorecard, I'm going to give it to the blue corner. Brandon Ainsworth, I think he just did too much. Putting that pressure on, landing some big heavy shots every round. Lopes just couldn't weather the storm enough to get his offense going. Was on defense the entire night. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 10 years the elder. I'm thinking he's going to come out with the victor. We shall see, though, how the judges see it. All amateur MMA, kickboxing, they have third party sanctioned bodies. As we're going to throw it up for the official decision by our ring announcer, Matthew Compatello, as we get a big hug and sportsmanship by these two fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by way of unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Brandon Ainsworth. Now you have it, Ainsworth with unanimous decision against Lopes. Yeah, actually here at Vincent Fury by Jack Howard Promotions will continue shortly. This fight was brought to you by Ultra Fresh Shrimp Delight. We got Team Powerhouse right there getting a photo. Jaden Artis with a big victory. 